Alrighty, guys and girls. So today, uh, I just got done getting a little lift in. Uh, better make sure. Switch. But anyways, I just got a little lift in. Now, I'm going to be showing you what the best supplement to take after a workout is. Now, some of you guys, a lot of you guys might already know what I'm going to say. Uh, but... Creatine, boys and girls. Creatine, one of the best natural supplements you can put into your body. Uh, and when I say natural, it's natural. Uh, basically, creatine comes from meat. And there's about one gram of it in a steak. There's about one gram of creatine in a steak. You're supposed to get five grams of creatine a day. And, uh, basically for those of you out there who don't know what it is, what creatine actually is, it helps bring water to your muscles and it helps replenish and it helps rebuild muscles on uh, recovery, but it also gives you, you know, it gives you more energy too, as well. It gives you readily available energy, uh, it also, you know what I mean, it brings water to your muscles and, you know, while you're taking creatine, you want to, uh, you really want to make sure that you're drinking enough water when you're taking it. Now, I'm sorry guys and girls, I'm just kind of starting on YouTube here. I get a lot of old dumb videos from when I was, when I was younger, but anyways, like I was saying, uh, when you're taking creatine, Preference wise, me, I take it after I get done lifting. Um, and I always like to get a good meal in me after I get done lifting to recover. And I'm trying to grow and I'm, I'm trying to stay natural. I don't want to get on the SARMs. I'm 19, I don't need that crap, you know? So, uh, you know, and in, in, in my opinion too is, you know, them guys out there, them people out there that can achieve their goals naturally, they're the real beasts because they're not using a PED to help. And sure, I'm not saying that you use a PED and you just magically grow. I mean, yeah, but you still also have to work out with it, you know. But anyways, as I was saying, uh, creatine is one of the best natural supplements you can put into your body. And I'd give it like a five out of five because I I love creatine. I've been using it for quite a while. Uh, and it doesn't, as long as you're getting a good brand of creatine, I use this X3 six star. I don't have a problem with it. It works just well for me. Uh, you know, there's BCAs in this. You don't need BCAs in your creatine. You do need BCAs for recovery and for muscle soreness. But you can just eat a good, nice piece of chicken. You can eat meat. There's there's BCAs in meat and protein and stuff like that. There's BCAs in that. And that's the most... That's the best thing you could put into your body. Is actual food I means supplements they do help but that's also why they're called a supplement they supplement what you're doing you know what i mean it's just like taking a multivitamin every day you know you supplement that in maybe you're not getting some of them vitamins and nutrients and those multivitamins give you those not those vitamins and nutrients and minerals so basically I know I've done a lot of blabbering here, so, but I just, uh, five grams of creatine a day, and you guys, you guys will see results, but you, you want to make sure you're lifting hard, you're lifting the best of your ability, and you're eating well. Now, not none of that junk food, if you can eat a home-cooked meal, 
got carbs, protein, vegetables. Those are the best things you can put in your body. But anyways, guys, that's it for the video. And uh, we'll catch you later.